Hi, Grayson. How are you? I'm four years old. You're four years old? Yeah. Did you have fun in Toledo? Yeah. Yeah? What is today, Gray? It is the last day of soccer. That's right. Today is your last day of soccer. Are you so excited? Yeah. Are you going to play really hard today? Yeah. Yeah? Are you going to win a medal at the end? Yes. And go grab a drink. And grab a drink? Yeah, we'll have to bring your water bottle, huh? Are you going to kick the ball down the field? Yeah. Yeah, and we're going to listen to our coach and do what he says? Yeah. Yeah, are you going to score a goal? Yeah. Yeah, are you going to do some toe touches? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, and some ice cream scoops? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy, it's going to be so fun. Excuse the mess of our bedroom. Anthony is still working on demolishing and redoing our master bathroom. Um, he's cut out a new plank to go around where the toilet goes because it was worn through. We need to put a new one on. Don't step on here, okay? And so he's almost done with that and then he can put the sticky stuff down and then he can put the tile down. I don't really know what it's all called, but... Yes, today is Grayson's last day of soccer. We are so excited for him. This season feels like it went by so much faster than last season. Probably because a lot of the games were like cold and rainy. And so like Anthony and Porter have only been to like two games so far. So um, this is the end to his first year of soccer. I want to sign him up again for the fall. I think it's good to put him in some kind of extracurricular activity and soccer is pretty low maintenance and pretty low injury. I want to keep him in it until he tells me he doesn't want to do it anymore. So we're going to keep doing it next year. It's basically the same thing. I think it's an hour later and it's still like 45 minutes, but they start playing like kids from other teams and actually doing like scrimmages instead of just like playing against each other on their own team so it's a little more official but still really low maintenance only on Saturdays so I think I'll sign him up again next year but we're gonna go and cheer him on for his last game I think all the kids get medals at the end last season like I said in a previous vlog like we didn't have the last game of the season and so it just like kind of ended without like a finality and then like all the kids got like little flag pendants so this time they get medals which is a little more like official so that'll be fun it's only 45 minutes and then I think afterwards we're gonna go out to eat for breakfast we have Anthony's parents staying with us in town so they're downstairs with the boys um they came and brought us back the boys from watching them for a week for us and now they're gonna see Grayson's game and then they're gonna head back home and then we're gonna hope to try to mow today our grass so desperately needs it it's getting long again but I think it's supposed to rain so I don't know I hope the rain holds off um, but we'll see but anyway I will uh, video a little bit of gray soccer for you guys <music> Yeah, picture. What are you doing, Gray? I'm making a butterfly. Oh, a butterfly. Porter, are you going to clean up your mess? Uh, no? Dada. Aww. Did you miss me? No. I missed you too. Mama. 
Yay, mama. So it's several hours later. We finished soccer. Grayson got a medal. I'll input like a picture here. Um, he got a medal for finishing soccer, so we're done. I am gonna sign him up next year for the next season because um, he said he wants to do it again, so we're gonna keep going with it. We went out to lunch or brunch, I guess, with Anthony's parents, and then they headed back home. Um, and then we did nap time. Both the boys were exhausted. <laughs> Uh, I don't think they got a lot of sleep yesterday. And then um, we were gonna go and mow and go outside, except we didn't beat the rain and it has been raining ever since they got up from nap. So hopefully we can do that tomorrow or maybe sometime this week. We didn't get to that. So we've literally just been playing with toys in the playroom and then we're gonna do bath. And my brother texted me, he needs me to go let out his dog cause his flight got delayed, they were on vacation. So I need to go and do that. So I'm gonna leave in like a half hour and go do that. But um, yeah, just kind of a boring day after soccer. Not much is happening. I was gonna like film us playing outside, but it's like so dark and gloomy. I'll show you guys. So ew, I don't know if you can tell, but it's pretty dark. Like there's water all on the ground and yeah, it's just not a good day to mow. I think it's supposed to rain like all night and then stop by like tomorrow morning. So hopefully the yard doesn't get too flooded because our side yard gets very easily flooded um, and we can mow, but I just don't know if we'll be able to do that or not. So we'll see, but I don't know. Maybe I'll vlog when I go over to my brother's house just to give some input or footage. I need to go clean up Porter's mess. He's playing songs right now. Um, but yeah, now it's really feeling like summer, like everything is coming to an end. No more school, no more soccer. We still have swimming lessons, so those are a constant. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're on summer mode right now, and it's really, it's been really hot, but tomorrow it's gonna get cold. It's gonna get to like the upper 60s tomorrow, so I was just about to put away like all the winter clothes, but I think I'll keep them out for a little longer because it's gonna get cold again, so. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Say hi, Porter. Hi. Hi. Say hi, Gray. Hi. Hi. We are out here picking up pine cones. I took off a week while the boys were gone, and look, we just started filling this bag now, and we're it's like a fourth of the way filled with just pine cones on the ground. Are you finding more pine cones? No, Daddy. He's upstairs working on the bathroom and then he'll come and mow. So it's the next day. I actually didn't film anymore after that last clip. I meant to film when I went over to my brother's house to like let his dog out and I just didn't. So I'm picking up the camera today. It's the next day, like I said. We are out here, it's after nap time. We are picking up pine cones because this huge pine tree on the side of our house drops pine cones like crazy. I just feel like this year it's been so, so bad. So I don't remember it being this bad in the past years. And Anthony's going to mow because finally we've got a break in the rain. And so he's going to mow, but it's hard to mow with the pine cones everywhere. So we're cleaning them up as fast as we can. Anthony's working on the bathroom right now. He wanted to do some things on the floor. We're still working on the floor of our master bathroom. And then we need to go in the backyard and pick up all the toys so he can mow in the backyard too. But the boys are so pumped to watch him mow because that's like awesome entertainment for them. And it's easy entertainment for me. So we are getting ready for Anthony to mow. We were gonna do it yesterday, but it rained. And it was supposed to rain like this morning and then it just didn't. So the grass should be nice and dry by now, which is nice. So we're just out here. It's kind of chilly. As you can see, I'm wearing long sleeves. Grayson's in jeans and long sleeves. Hi, Hi. he's still picking up all the pine cones. It's like 60s. It's gonna be like 60s today and tomorrow, I think. So a little chillier because of all the rain. Um, which is nice because we've been having like upper 80s weather, which has been crazy um, hot. So kind of a fluctuation in the weather pattern, but we're dealing with it. And it's a good day to mow because it's not too, too hot. So we're gonna help Anthony mow and cheer him on. So I'm sure I'll vlog a little bit of that. I gotta go find Porter. I think he went into the backyard, which is on par with Porter. But Gray's gonna keep looking for pine cones. Keep going, Gray. There's a bunch right here. Oh. Make sure you get the ones right here, okay? 
Thanks. You are such a good helper. Grayson has always loved picking up pine cones, even when he was little, little. He loved it, and he used to always put it in our recycling bin. Now he actually puts it in the bag, which is a lot better. Look, see, now he's doing it because I mentioned it. Gray, put it in the bag, honey. Yeah, not in the bin. I don't think you can recycle pine cones. Thanks. Make sure you come get these ones. These kids, they keep me busy. Side note, yesterday Anthony and I started watching The Girl from Plainville. It's on Hulu. It, it's about like that girl who like texted her boyfriend to kill himself. He like killed himself in his car or whatever. It happened a couple years ago. And I remember like hearing the case and like watching it live on television and so um, they made like a documentary like tv series about it and it's actually really really good so if you're looking for a new show i highly suggest watching that it's on hulu i've been watching a couple of movies while i was um, without the kids last week and most of them were not good um, they redid west side story that was on disney plus and I just don't like the story of West Side Story. Like, obviously, it's like Romeo and Juliet, so I did not like that. Then I watched Tick, Tick, Boom, which was directed by Lynn manuel Miranda, and it's got the Spider-Man guy, Andrew Garfield, in it. That's on Netflix, and I was like, oh, that should be good. It's a musical. So boring. So, so boring. I did not like that one. And then I watched... Oh, I watched Dear Evan Hansen, which that is on HBO Max. We have, like, all the streaming platforms. And that one was just depressing. Like the whole thing is about like a guy who killed himself. So it's just sad. And then um, the songs were catchy, but it was just long, long and depressing. So I was kind of like disappointed in my movies this past week. So it was finally like a breath of fresh air to actually get a show that I was actually like interested in. So yeah, we were like that. We're on the last episode. Um, I don't know when we're going to be able to watch it because we're working on the house every night. We just had like a little bit. Um, we took off the night yesterday and then we had a good nap time with the boys both napped yesterday. So we were able to watch like all seven episodes and then we just have the eighth one that we still need to watch. So I need to convince Anthony to watch it, but I know he really wants to like work on the house and get this stuff done. So we'll see if I can convince him, but I'm watching both the boys graze in the front yard. Porter's in the backyard, so I have to like sit on this corner to watch them both. <laughs> ah, two kids. It's so fun. watermelon of the season. What do you think? Is it good? Yeah. Yeah, Gray is so good. He's been helping Anthony. He's been following Daddy and help picking up the grass. Now we're having a watermelon break, huh? Yeah. Porter's enjoying some peanut butter. 